Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee, and it is a cook with me day. Today, we are making um, homemade TV dinners for my husband, who drives semi over the road. Now, he's got a refrigerator, he's got a freezer, he's got a microwave, and he's got an air fryer. So this is perfect for him. And that way, I can send him with good, healthy, wholesome meals packed full of love from home. So the first thing we're going to do is meatloaf. So let's get busy. Okay, so you all know I, I like to make my meatloaf with box stuffing instead of crackers and a lot of other spices. These are already seasoned. It's seasoned for chicken. But I also use my own homemade meatloaf seasoning. It just adds a little bit of flavor. That's wonderful stuff. But right here, I just got two pounds of beautiful fresh ground sirloin from my local butcher. That is wonderful. I'm going to put that right in there. Now you're going to get your hands dirty, friends. You can wear gloves if you want. I don't. I just get my hands right in there and get them dirty. I'm going to put two eggs in with this. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open up my stuffing, and I'm going to put that in there. Now, this is seasoned, like I said, but it's not, you know, it's not seasoned excessively, so I always put a little extra of my homemade meatloaf seasoning in there, too. But I got two pounds of this, so I use one of these boxes per pound, okay? Okay. We got that. Now, let me move my stuff here. I am going to put a little bit of my, I shouldn't say a little bit. I'm going to do a nice, good handful of my parsley. Maybe a little more. Okay. I'm going to put that in there. And I'm also going to put a couple teaspoons of my homemade meatloaf blend. This stuff, mm, it's fantastic. I do have videos for that. You'll find that in my videos under my spice blends and mixes. Okay? Now, my husband, um, he doesn't tolerate a whole lot of onions real well, so I'm just going to put a very small onion in here just for a little flavor. And I'm going to chop it up real fine. Okay. Like that. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to also put that in there. This is going to make quite a few TV dinners for him. But I, you know, you can also just take this and, and just freeze it too. What, you know, you don't have to make a TV dinner out of it. Just, just freeze it in serving sizes and... making this just for him. Okay, I'm going to put it in my pan here. It's going to fit really good. I can get a beautiful two-pound meatloaf in this pan. Let me move this aside so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just pushing it all down and I'm packing it in really, really good. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my little groove in the middle because that's where I want the barbecue sauce to go. Oops. 
Come on. That's going to be beautiful. All right. That's how easy that is to put together. You can see that. Now this is going to go into a 400 degree oven for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. And when this is done, I'll bring you back and I'll show you how we put all our TV dinners together. Okay, friends, take a look at that beauty. Isn't it gorgeous? It's nice and cooled off. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut a nice piece out of here. Hopefully it won't stick to it. But come on, one nice beautiful chunk. Look at that. That's going to go right there. And my husband usually likes two of them. I'm going to give him another one. And that, friends, is beautiful. Okay? And I also have our mashed potatoes we made. So, I'm going to put that. Let me slide this over here so you can see me. I'm going to put the mashed potatoes in there. I'm not going to put any butter on these right away, but I am going to take, and I'm going to put just a little bit of parsley on them, okay? Now, I also have some corn. Now, this corn, friends, is still frozen because it's going back in a freezer anyway, so why unthaw it, you know? Okay, get that up there and take a look at that beautiful TV dinner. Absolutely gorgeous. Perfect. Now it's going to have to cool, so I'm going to set it aside. And we'll do this other one. Actually, I got two of them here to do. We're going to do these. These veggies in there. Okay. I don't want it all mixed up. Let me get over there. Okay. Get this, potato. this goes so fast. When you have everything all ready, this goes so fast and it's absolutely, it's delicious. My husband loves this. And I love doing this for him. This way he gets a little bit of home and lots of love. And it's healthier. Okay. Let me get my little bit of parsley on these. Now he's got salt and pepper in his truck. So I don't need to put salt and pepper on anything. Just... Um, the parsley. All right. Okay, here we go. There's one, two. And this one's just going to be one nice thick piece. All right. That's it, friends. And then the rest I can slice up. And I can either make another uh, hamburger, or excuse me, another meatloaf meal TV dinner. Or I can just put it in the freezer and save it for his next round. But anyway, there you have it, friends. That's how nice those turn out. Aren't those just darling? I don't have very much lighting in here. But anyway, that's it. That's how easy it is to put together TV dinners. When this cools off, I can go ahead and put the lids on them, get them in the freezer, and they are ready to go to his freezer in his truck when he returns home. So there you have it, friends. Give this a try, especially if those of you have husbands out on the road. Even a couple meals is nice. It's a little bit of love from home. So there you have it, friends. Thanks for watching.